Hey guys, it's Sal from House of Guy Python. So in this week's video, I'm going to do five more jeans that I can't believe I don't have uh, slash that I still want to add to my collection. I just did another video last week, uh, which I'll pop up up here. Um, and it seemed like I got a lot of comments. I, I, I suggested in the live chat when I premiered it that I'd maybe do a part two and it seemed like uh, quite a few of you were, were on board with that. So I figured I might as well just throw a part two right away. Some of these jeans, after I did the video, I was like, man, how did I forget this one? How did I forget this one? A couple of you even brought it up. So um, I figured I might as well throw out the second part to this one right away. Yeah, let's just jump into it and let's see what else I need to add. All right, guys. So the first jean I want to add is going to be Puzzle. So um, this is a jean that I've really been looking into for a long time. I'm sure a lot of you have. Uh, it's a really, really cool jean. Um, it definitely adds a lot of wackiness to the pattern, um, almost taking leopard to another level. Uh, similar, I would, I would say it's most similar to kind of the cryptic look, um, but still has a unique look within itself. So um, again, I'm gonna pop up some stuff um, from Morph Market. So. I'll try to include who the snake is from. I'll scroll down to each picture. Um, but as you can see, it just really tricks out the pattern. It really gives this really wonky look to the alien heads and connects them in certain ways. Um, overall, just an amazing gene. Some of the DG puzzle stuff uh, that's coming out now, especially um, Will from RCR, just absolutely insane. Um, so it's definitely something I want to add into my collection and definitely go down that route of uh, getting into DG puzzle stuff in the future. It's also really nice because it's something that works nice with pastel. Um, and I think that's kind of a cool gene to have, similar to Desert Ghost where, um, you know, if you're getting pastel into Desert Ghost, it's actually a really nice look. Um, and it, I think pastel and puzzle is a similar idea, especially if we start getting into the Desert Ghost project. But definitely a gene I'm uh, strongly thinking about adding. Now for me, adding a recessive, it's a big step to me because I feel like I, if I get into a recessive, it's basically gonna need its own space. Like I need to uh, formulate a plan in terms of rack space because I'm gonna wanna make a bunch of hets and stuff like that. Plus, of course, I would wanna get into the DG project. So then I have to really think long-term and like, okay, how much space am I gonna put towards DG puzzle when I already have my base recessives? And it's always good to have a plan to put these recessives into groups I find and I've already kind of grouped um, snakes together so it's a big step to get into it but again I love puzzle um, I hopefully enjoyed some of the stuff I found on morph market there and uh, we'll start off with that as uh, number one so number two we're gonna throw up another recessive uh, sentinel slash paint um, which I do believe are very similar or, or going to be the same. I think most people have figured they're the same now. I don't know if anyone's actually proved it out 100% yet, but anyways, definitely an amazing gene. I think it's super untapped. Uh, there's some really, really nice stuff coming out now with Sentinel. Um, my buddy, uh, Nate from Sundial Reptiles actually showed me, he kind of was showing me some more stuff into the, the Sentinel paint stuff. And uh, I think it was the Sentinel Calico Yellow Belly is absolutely insane hopefully i found a picture i can show you um i'll probably have to grab it off google but it is absolutely mind-blowing uh some of the stuff it does to the side of the pattern is just crazy kind of pixelates and messes with it it's kind of its own realm of gene but there's definitely combos i've seen where i haven't seen any other gene do that it's definitely something i do want to add but again it is a recessive so i have to plan stuff out properly before i start jumping into these recessives um, because I need to mix them in with another recessive, uh, that's usually my plan when I buy into a recessive. I want it to go into a double head or a triple head uh, or visual in the future. So you have to kind of figure those things out, or at least I do anyways. So uh, to me, I'm, I'm excited to obviously that seeing that Sentinel um, clown project uh, start jumping off is absolutely amazing. Um, and then getting it probably into some Pied stuff too. I'm really interested to see the uh, Sentinel Pied. Perhaps it's already out there and I haven't looked it up yet, but it's definitely something I'm seeing pop up more often and the stuff I'm seeing is absolutely amazing. So uh, Sentinel slash paint is another one I'm gonna have to jump into. Number three on the list is gonna be Hurricane. So Hurricane is an absolutely amazing gene. Uh, the more I look into Hurricane, the more I, I need to grab something in that project. Um, I mean, obviously into Clown, Hurricane is just absolutely mind-blowing. Some of the Hurricane Clown stuff I've seen is just <laughs> insane to me. Hurricane is something I, I really want to pick up this season. And I'm hoping I can get, I can find a Hurricane Heck Clown female. 
uh, something like that. But anyways, as you can see, some of the Hurricane Clown stuff is absolutely insane. And another really cool one um, getting it out of recessives is this, the Spot Nose Hurricane and the Leopard Hurricane. Um, I think both those projects, if we start pushing in, the, in that direction, adding something, some other genes in there like Yellow Belly or Calico would be really, really cool, I think. Um, but as you can see, it just really messes up the pattern. Um, very similar to Leopard, but like Leopard on steroids. Like it, it really tricks stuff out. And uh, of course the Hayabusa, the Super Hurricane is absolutely insane as you can see. It's one of my favorite projects. I love how it gives that kind of like heart shape or, or uh, strongman flexing kind of thing. Or, uh, strongman flexing kind of thing. Or, uh, strongman flexing kind of thing. Uh, strongman flexing kind of thing. In the alien heads there. Uh, just a phenomenal project and I think that um, I, I have to look it up I'm not sure I think I saw it but I, I'm not hundred percent if they if someone has uh, hit the super hurricane clown yet but um, if they haven't I'm sure it's gonna be absolutely amazing um, so definitely something I want to push forward to and of course uh, for myself and my projects I, I want to start seeing this hurricane stuff um, which is the direction I'll likely be going uh, once we get to that point so anyways I needed to add hurricane on this list definitely a huge one that I need to add and um, as you can see it's just a, an amazing gene okay so number four on the list is gonna be bongo this was one of the ones I don't know how I missed this one on the first list um, it, it just I've been looking at bongo for so long it's such an amazing gene uh, especially in clown some of the bongo clown stuff is is unreal uh, I know Garrick DeMeyer has been pushing bongo for a long time and he's made some awesome bongo stuff um, so it's definitely a gene I need to add I, and again this is another one I would hope to add in 2022 I'm really trying to push to get new genes in my collection anyways getting bongo in here is super important I love it in clown like I said um, and I really like uh, the direction that Bongo Pied is going to go. And I think Bongo Clown Pied could be really, really interesting as well. Um, some, of the, some of the mixes, as you can see, into Bongo and some of the combos is really interesting how it reacts. Uh, I really like the kind of Bongo Cinnamon, Bongo Mojave kind of look stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of interested to see where that can go with getting some Leopard um, or even Hurricane in there like we were talking about. Um, or start pushing it into some of the recessives like Puzzle or Sentinel like we talked about. I think Bongo could have a really unique look. Um, and even just the single gene Bongo, you can tell it, it's going to do some awesome things in some of the combos we're going to have in the future. Uh, and especially going into double or triple recessive stuff. Another uh, nice thing with Bongo I think is going to be uh, at introducing it into Ultramel a lot more. Um, I think Bongo has that right tone to it to start adding into Ultramel combos to make really, really nice looking snakes. Um, so I'm really happy I didn't forget to add Bongo into this list because uh, it's definitely going to be, I think, in my top five of picking up in, in 2022. So the last one on this list, uh, I'm going to have to make it number five, is going to be Grim. Now, Grim to me is relatively new. Like, I've been looking into it for a bit. Um, there isn't much available on it, so I hadn't really thought about picking it up because I just haven't seen too much availability. I haven't looked in, in a bit um, to check out availability, so... What I'm showing you here will be the first time I'm kind of looking into it after about four or five months, uh, maybe a bit longer. Um, so hopefully I'm finding some cool stuff. Um, but it is, as soon as I saw it, I knew I was gonna like this gene. Um, I, I feel like it's quite variable, um, but what I've seen so far is really, really nice. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it, but I, at some point um, I did find a, what was believed to be a grim clown. And I think the super, is called the Reaper or the Grim Reaper. I can't remember, but the Super is absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know too much about it. All I know is that what I saw, I liked. So I don't know if it's been proven that it's similar to a different gene um, or that it was uh, compatible with a different gene, that I'm not sure. Um, but like I said, as soon as I saw that gene, I knew it was gonna have really good potential. Um, I'm not sure if, I know here in Canada, it hasn't, it hasn't exploded by any means. I don't even know if anyone has it here in Canada yet. Um, but I'm hoping at some point this year I'll be able to um, get one in here and uh, start working that project because I think it has a lot of potential and I think uh, it can make some cool off the wall combinations. Um, and again, my, my go to is of course Stranger stuff because I want to see Stranger into a bunch of genes that we haven't seen it in yet. I think I had to put Grim on here. 
um, just because it's something that always kind of sticks in my mind. Um, and as you can see, as I'm showing you some of the, the cool combos, or even just the single gene itself, you can kind of see the potential. Had to put that one on my, uh, my top five of more genes I need to add. All right guys, so that's it for the top five. Uh, more genes that I need to add, um, more that I can't believe I don't have yet. <laughs> um, I would say I, I could probably sit on Morph Market and find another 20 to 30 genes that I want to add or that I can't believe I don't have yet. Uh, and some of them are super simple. Like, I mean, this, this list was a little bit more, like I wish I could pick these up. I feel like my first list um, is a little bit more attainable in terms of cost and just availability, but um, these things are coming out more and more now, so they are becoming more available. Um, the price has gone down a little bit on, on most of them, so um, you know, ho with hopes I, I'll be able to pick some of this stuff up. Uh, of course, Puzzle and Sentinel I'm going to have to think about a little bit more to see where it's going to fit in terms of my double recessive uh, projects, but the Hurricane, Bongo and Grimm are definitely stuff that I can, uh, you know, introduce into my collection and, and figure it out as we go. Um, so. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know which genes you guys are looking to add. Let me know if I hit some of them on my first video or this video. And, um, you know, I, I don't think I'll make a part three of this, but if I do, um, you know, I'd love to take uh, hear some opinions and stuff and maybe I'll put the, the gene you added uh, on your top five and uh, I'll include it in the video and show some footage and, you know, get these genes out there a little bit more. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you're staying positive and focused.